Like a, a disappointing result, but a fantastic Bayern performance. Uh, I think uh, we got beat by a better team today. Um, I think the midfield got dominated today. They had sort of six in there and uh, we couldn't cope with them. And obviously Ribbon and uh, Robin was outstanding as well. So a uh, disappointing day for us because we, uh, we thought we should have done a lot better than that. I think the team looked a bit flat today, a little bit of tired legs in there. So uh, uh, we'll look forward to Everton and try to get a, a better result then. As you say, they played at such a high tempo and kept the ball very well. It just seemed that you know we find it difficult to get a foothold on the game from from the start, really. Yeah, like I said um, before, we um, I think before the game everyone was excited and you know wanted to play the bit the best team in the uh, in the world at the moment, and it just shows you um, why why they are the best. They've got some outstanding players, and you know the players are off the park today. And sometimes you just got to hold your hands up and say you got beat by a better team. What can be learned from this, Micah? What can we take to the to the next game in Moscow? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're not playing Bayern, which is a is a good start. Um, but we know in uh, Moscow we've got some good players, and you know they're playing on the artificial pitch, which is not going to be beneficial for us. But uh, we we'll go out there and uh, roll our sleeves up, and hopefully get a result. And as you say, focus now on Everton on Saturday and, and bouncing back from Villa last week. Yeah, because um, we've had two disappointing uh, sort of results. Um, against Villa, we played really well and didn't get um, um, the points we wanted. And today we didn't very play very well, got beat by a team. So it's two disappointing results. Um, hopefully we can make it better on Saturday. Thank Mike, you. you said they played off the park. Is yeah. that a bit of a shock to the players? Um, no, I think we knew of the quality sort of before the game. But sometimes, you know, um, at home, you expect the boys to do a little bit better than we did today. I think. Um, we didn't really sort of, I don't know, we, we let them dictate the, the tempo of the game. I think um, them having more men in midfield helped them a little bit. And Lam had a lot of space to sort of pick the passes they wanted, so a little bit disappointed with that. Yeah. Was it the quality of the opposition or was it just a bad day? I think a bit, a bit of both, to be honest. There was quality performance and he was a little bit flat, like I said. Um, he was uh, very disappointed and hopefully we can do better than that next time. Is there any concern, Michael, that you've got another game against Everton as an early kickoff on Saturday so soon after this, or do you you want to play a game quickly again? Yeah, we want to play play a game quickly and um, sort of get it out of our system because uh, you know we're, we're, we're used to be being you know better than everyone else uh, without being cocky. You know we're used to being playing a nice football and, and today we got we got taught a lesson, so it was. Uh, a little bit uh, disappointed to be on, on the receiving end for once. You sound a bit down, but I know you'll want to bounce back as quickly as you can, won't you? Yeah, of course. We, you know, we don't like to win. You know, two two games, uh, lose two games back to back. Um, you know, we've, we've got this sort of a, a winning mentality built into us now, and, and a winning spirit. So to lose two on the bounce, um, we have to put it right on, 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 on Saturday. And of course, Everton are the only unbeaten team in the Premier League, so it could do with ending that, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's just our look at the moment. But uh, yeah, at home, uh, we'll, we'll give a good um, performance, and hopefully, we we'll get three points.